It's in your settings, actually. Um, control the information side, smoke, search engine, search engine. No, do you Use default apps. Well, we don't really care. Save. Yeah, no, we don't want that. Yeah, so long as it turns. It's going to set it though. Which is so the Okay, let's see if we can get rid of that. Now, go back to Oh gosh, guys, hold on. Do you remember that?
fait. Okay, everybody cut your cameras off. We're getting ready to go live. Yes, meet your camera and your microphone, please. What is this weird? We didn't have a star music. We didn't make this no countdown. Yeah. But I tell you what, it is <clears throat> Monday, October 11th, 2021. I'm Christy Renee, joined here by the sports influencer, Jabari Johnson. Hello, hello. Good evening, good evening. How's everybody doing? We <laughs> welcome you guys. Appreciate you being here. Yes, thank you. We had some technical difficulties. Um, I will say this, browsers are important. Uh, mm -hmm. So we are here, though. We are here. We wanted to start at 8 o'clock, but it's 8.30, and so the show must go on. Um, so we're excited to be back here. It's been a minute. Um, it's just been an interesting season. Fall has arrived. Uh, first, let me acknowledge today is um, Indigenous Peoples Day, and um, thankfully, you know, we, we're, we're getting something right uh, by honoring true history. And so we uh, celebrate uh, this honoring of uh, the native indigenous people of this land uh, long before many people showed up. So uh, yes, I hope you all have made some kind of effort to learn and dive into that, um, that history. Um, other than that, fall is upon us. It is wonderful uh, to feel the the cool change, air. Yeah. Yes, the cool air outside, uh, getting darker earlier. Everybody, um, I don't know what else. We had some storms last night. Hopefully, everybody was, you know, okay after the storms. I know we had some tornadoes in the area. Yeah, they were pretty destructive. They were. They um, were. but hopefully, <clears throat> everybody is. Uh oh, mute that camera. Let's get our cameras muted. Uh, we got some guests. We got to get y'all to mute your camera. You know what? Let's just do this. Let's just go ahead and bring everybody out. <laughs> well, let's go ahead and at least bring her out. <laughs> yeah, let's well, bring we our got, special guests. We've got some extra. It's just, it's all right. This is one of those nights. It's, it's a manic Monday. Uh, so without but, further well, ado. Well, before I get to those guys, before we do, uh, we had several guys here in the area uh, recently make their college commitment. So I want to make sure we shout them out. Uh, Big deal for uh, Duncan Ville's senior forward, Davion Sykes, who committed to Texas State University uh, a couple of days ago. Congratulations to Davion. Uh, let me make sure I'm not forgetting anybody. Uh, we had CJ Ford from Duncanville as well, uh, committed to Northern Arizona. Alex Anamekwe from McKinney will be headed to SMU. Kyron Lindsay from Den Geyer will be headed to UNLV. Brandon Walker, Faith Family Academy, will be headed to UT Arlington. Chauncey Gibson and Dallas Kimball will be headed to Clemson. And let me see, we got Colin Smith out of St. Mark's by way of Compass Prep, Arizona. He'll be headed to Vanderbilt. And Robert Jennings out of Taco Storm, he's headed to Texas Tech. So got a lot of movement in the recruiting uh, musical chairs, if you will. So uh, congratulations to those young men on all their hard work and effort. Uh, it's that season, it's that time of year for guys to make that decision. So another one off the board. Absolutely. Looking forward to the night too. Yes, it's gonna be interesting. So of course it's a uh the, the the young kids are in these basketball streets and practices and 
preliminaries and tournaments and whatnot, but uh, there is something brewing coming up this weekend, and it is an opportunity for the alumni of some of the top high schools in the DFW area will be uh, coming together. And somebody has started something that seems to be catching on. Um, and she is a fan favorite here. We love to see her face. Monique asks you, you come on in, unmute yourself and- Accuracy School, Accuracy founder, School. <laughs> CEO, women that mean business. Ms. We'll, Monique we'll unmute asks you. you. Unmute yourself, Monique. Okay, there we go. I did. Okay. Welcome, good welcome, evening. Welcome. Good evening. Good evening. Well, welcome back. It's always good to have you and your perspective. And uh, this time, you are bringing some fire. Something really big is happening this weekend. And so, before we get into it, we want you to bring in some of your cast, your your, your starring uh, cast that we have on the show tonight. And let's get everybody to come on in. Bring your cameras. We got Carter, Kimball, Lancaster, Duncanville <laughs> alumni that are on the round table with Everybody us tonight. Come on. Everybody come on out. Well, yeah, so we have a uh, Carter and at Carter we have Cardell and we have Jay Walt. Both Carter. of those are class of 05. Am I right? right. State champions. Now we lost. Oh yeah. Yeah. We never want to stay there, Carter. That's why we just like beating Kimball just to because they want <laughs> Okay, that's a state championship. And then at Kimball, we got Tum Tum. Tum Tum, what class are you? Uh, 2003. Ooh. Okay, so 2003. And then for Lancaster, um, we have Coach Doug, who is the current coach of our Fighting Tigers. Uh, Jonathan asks you, who is class of 1998 alumni, um, and Ronnie, who is class of 2001. And then for Duncanville, we have Mr. Is he here with us? I don't see him. Who's that? Yeah, I'm right. I'm right here. Oh, he okay. Is. So uh, for Duncanville, <coughs> we have Mr. Palsy. Pouncey. Pouncey. Yeah, you oh, got Pouncey. it. You got it. You got it. You got it. <laughs> Class of 2006. Um, correct. All right. It's a full house. Full house. Welcome. Welcome, gentlemen. Welcome. Appreciate you guys being here. So, Monique, big event coming up this weekend. Tell everybody what's going on and the why behind the, the event that's happening this weekend. Okay. This is a fundraiser for Lancaster Basketball boys basketball uh, team and all these teams join together to you know support in efforts uh, to raise money for Lancaster boys basketball so hopefully we can pick another school next year and um, do something amazing for them so we have Carter versus Kimball at 4 p.m. on Saturday October 16th at Lancaster High School and at 6 p.m. we have Lancaster versus Duncanville. Wow, that's a big time doubleheader. So, who are some of the guys that's going to be playing on these teams? Um, you got the rosters. You got. Can you tell us who who we're going to come out and watch? Jay Walk and Cardell, can you tell us who's on y'all roster? Y'all let they, me. They, they probably don't have. Y'all got the roster in front of us. Ain't got the roster. We got a bunch of guys that's going to play hard. Been playing together for a long time. You know, put on a good show for the kids. But as far as names, you know, y'all come to the game, y'all want to find out who on the roster. Y'all pull up 4 o'clock on Saturday. You can see everybody on the roster. We'll be there. A lot, of, a lot of Carter legends will be in the building for this one, representing Carter. Uh, of course, these young fellas, 05 graduates, uh, myself, 97, Ty Ellis, class of 96, Anthony Good. Uh, Dave my, Foster. Dave Foster. Uh, Jay Walk. Uh, we 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 coming with it. The Carter Cowboys are coming with it, and I know Kimball is gonna be just as low. D, talk a little bit about who you guys shooting up. You know, we got uh we got C Austin, uh, class of 2012, I think, and uh, T.J. Gibson, you know, class of 2011. 
David Tucker, 2012. You got Dendrick Jones, uh, 2001. You got Alexander Starr, myself, and Norman Alexander. We all three of them. From 03, you got Sheridan, you got Sheridan Yearwood, uh, Keith Fraser, uh, and Jordan Weed. I think they all 2013, I think. And you got PTL Dawkins, and we got Scooter. We got Scooter Tatum. So, you know, we got a we got we got a stack roster, man. That's, that's pretty tough. That's pretty tough. <laughs> Kevin Knight, that's pretty tough. Sometimes, yeah, sometimes how many of the people on your roster are state champions? Oh, wow. uh, you got Courtney Austin, uh David Tucker, Sheldon Yearwood, Keith Frazier, Jordan Williams, all of them state champions. Uh myself, Norman and Star, we all lost in 2002 at, at the buzzer beater. Mm. So that was our junior year at the, at the infamous bu at the infamous buzzer beater, uh, 2002. So <laughs> hey, 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 I ain't gonna lie, I ain't gonna lie now, Monique. Yeah. Oh, you, oh, we, we got scooters. We got scooter state champion too. I forgot about scooters. As much as of a rivalry as it is between Carter and Kimball in our day, man, I was even heartbroken on that shot that they lost. I could, <laughs> a lot of people remember that. Goodness gracious, that was tough. That was super tough. But uh, yeah, that's a nice crew. Who else we got? Let's see. Um, we got Duncanville. Yeah, come on. I was waiting for y'all to, to, to Mike, talk tell, about tell that. Tell us I've been waiting. Got, I've been waiting. Come on. You know we got all the old school cats. Uh, the, the best part about this is getting back with the getting back with the home and getting back with everybody that um, you know kind of led the way at Duncanville. You know, we got people in their 40s about to play, but the thing about it is, like, when you come to Duncanville, you learn how to be a dog. So once you're a dog, you're always a dog. So <laughs> we lose some old dogs, but we ready. <laughs> Who are some of the guys y'all going to be suiting up? Y'all got the you got the roster in front of you? Oh, yeah, I do. I do. I kind of know about heart. Um, I mean, we got everybody from Terrence. Uh, what's, what's Terrence? Like? Terrence Johnson. Uh, he's one that. I mean, all these guys are special to me, honestly, man. I don't want to take all your time just because these are the guys that we looked up to coming up. Yeah. Um, so you got Terrence Johnson. You got Ron Ronda. You got um, Roosevelt Brown. Oh, shoot. Who else you got? Chris Horn. Um, those, are the, those are the old guys that need the ice after we work out. <laughs> uh, but then you got, you know, my class, where it's me and Marcus Brist, uh, one, of the, one of the best point guards that came out of. Um, Duncanville. This besides row <laughs> at the bar, because you know, you got Marcus. Um, you got everything from Roger Franklin. Um, Sean's not gonna play this time, but we got Dwayne Roberts, we got Justin Diggles, we got TJ Jackson, um, Kevin Butler, um, Red. We got him coming through. So we got we got a nice little squad. We got a lot of the Big 12 coming to play. Y'all went and got every Duncanville former Duncanville. <laughs> You can find y'all might. Well, we didn't get everybody. It's easy. It's easy when you got a lot of them to choose from. Though. Okay. It's easy. It's easy, but you know we got the old people. Absolutely. We decided to bring the old people. I'm such myself. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> and are any of y'all state champions? Uh, everybody, but like two, of us, two or three of us. Everybody has pretty much one state. Myself, I've lost it. The play though, the buzzer beater, it still haunts me to this day. Mm -hmm. um, I was the one that found John Roberts, and I had to watch him with the MVP. Mm -hmm. But you know, you got myself, Marcus, who missed it, and I believe Justin Diggles. Was on it. It's only three of us that didn't get it, so we'll probably be the hardest ones playing, <laughs> playing the hardest. <laughs> Make up for that. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Shout out to Duncan Bill. Appreciate you guys for, for stepping up and being part of it. So Lancaster, talk to me. Let me let, 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 let listen. Let me tell you about Lancaster. So about I don't know, it might have been a month ago. They played in a game against Terra High School alumni. Nobody knew who was gonna play. And Lancaster comes out with a roster like <laughs> I thought this was the state championship game, the roster they put together. <laughs> I'm assuming Lancaster is going to be on that same page again. You know, I'm even hearing they're trying to suit up the, the, the graduates to just oh, finish no. two years ago, the 2020 and 20. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. No. Y'all not supposed to get us? Mike, don't, don't, don't believe that, Mike. Do, do not believe it. 
man. We got the hardest matchup in the building. Oh, uh, yeah. Yes, indeed. So, Monique, talk a little bit about Lancaster and, and what you guys going to be putting on the floor, and then we let Coach Doug speak on that a little bit as well, too, and Ronnie. Okay, Ronnie? Ronnie's blurred out for some reason. Yeah. I don't know what's wrong with the camera. Can you hear me? We can, we can hear, hear you, but we, we can't, can't see you. Oh. Uh, John, ask you, go ahead and help him out. Yeah, I don't know what's wrong with my camera. What, what, what can we expect from the likes of the Tigers at this alumni event this weekend? Yeah, uh, well, good evening, everybody. Um, you know, shout out to everybody. I think we're going to expect, expect you know, the usual uh, likes to running Tigers. Uh, you know, it was a tradition, you know, that started with Joe Russian. Um, and it's a one that's absolutely blown out the doors is Coach Doug. You know, Coach Doug has done his thing. Um, he's a lot of these kids have played, uh, well, a lot of these got young young men have played for him. Um, uh, we got you know what I'm saying? we got people like Lil Ronnie uh coming in, uh playing. We uh Larrington, Larrington Carter uh, is gonna be playing. We got uh John Bohannon. He's gonna be getting down. Uh, we got we got Big Nate. He's he's gonna be playing. Uh, we got a lot of people who've won uh, under 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 Coach Doug. Um, a lot of, a lot of young younger. We got a lot of young ones. I ain't gonna lie. To you. We got a couple of old school. Um, I'm just gonna be in there coaching. I ain't gonna touch that floor because I don't want no knees to bust up or none of that. You know what I'm saying? I don't want none of that action. You know what I'm saying? The way Mike Pounce is talking, man, I don't, I don't think I want to be out there for that, man. So. <laughs> I'm be on the, I'm be on the side. I'm gonna be on the sideline with Coach Doug uh, by my side or whatever. Um and uh yeah we got we 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 got some boys that's gonna be ready to do it, man. We played a tough one against Terrell, just like you said a month ago. Um but it was good, you know, coming out of alumni getting together, young and old being able to get it, get together. Guys like uh Paco Yomi uh, Yomi May uh was out there. Uh you know guys you know uh. We we had a lot of a lot of old schools come out support it, and that's what we want to bring this time too. Especially when being in our building, we want to kind of bring the same thing. I mean, gotta give a shout out to my sister uh, for lining this up, and uh, you know, just hopefully hopefully we can we can at least look halfway decent against these Dunkerville boys, man. They brought, just like you said, the bar they brought out everybody. My goodness, <laughs> <laughs> wait, you brought out the young ones, coach. Like how young hey, we talking? <laughs> <laughs> am I gonna be am I gonna be hurting in training sessions the next few weeks? Hey, I, I, I don't know you might be, but man, who <laughs> y'all fuck out of the street? I, I'm, I, you might well be bringing out NF, uh, NBA rosters or something, man. Uh, I think the average age on the, on the Lancaster roster is 22 years old, man. Oh, <laughs> ow, 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 man. Ow, ow, 22. Hey, not, <laughs> ow. Coach, you do it like that, baby. <laughs> hey, hey, I, I got to make sure we, we, we live up to the name of running Tigers now. You know what I'm saying? I, I, Shout out to Coach Can I, Doug, you know? Can I ask you a question, Coach? Why are y'all so fast? Like, what are y'all doing? Why are y'all so fast? Everybody in that building is fast. The janitors, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I saw a janitor <laughs> run down the street. The they sprint between classes from class to class. <laughs> <laughs> they run over there. So y'all wait that's for the last minute question. before the bell ring and just take off? Like, what? what's going on? Hey, that's a Coach Doug question right there. Coach Doug, help me out. Uh-oh, we can't hear you, Coach. See, I think Coach might. Turn, turn your volume all the way up on your phone. <laughs> yeah, them like the Tigers, they run the class. Can you hear me now? Not barely. barely. We can't, yeah. But keep going. I don't know what that is. We got to hear you, Coach. Yeah. I know it. I know it, Coach. Can you hear me? I'm pushing it. A little bit better. A little bit better. A little, little bit more. Yeah, a little better, because we want to hear what this means to you. Why Why does this event mean what it does to you? Why is it so important to not only the school, the community? Mm. Oh, Coach, we can't hear you. It's not worse. Yeah. Not worse. Yeah, it's, you're real. Hit, hit the volume like five times. The volume turned like all the way up. Look at Coach Ryan. Blurred. Like, you know, witness protection. Why you waiting on here? Watching this live, please share the broadcast. Share, like, tag an alumni from any one of these schools. And Monique, can you go ahead and give them the link 
to where they can get tickets to the event. Sure. And Is there a way I can t put it on the screen or no? Uh, no, but we we can also post it in the comment section as well. Okay. Yeah, go ahead and give that to me. Is it something easy? No, it's not. <laughs> no, it's not. Okay, don't worry about it, but just go ahead. Is it, is okay. it, a, is it on uh, Eventbrite? I mean, how do they get tickets? It's on Ticket Spice. Okay. Okay. Well, we're going to make sure everybody, we follow up with all of that. And but, but you can also purchase tickets at the door as well if you don't want to purchase online. Okay. Okay, what time will the doors open? On the Saturday. doors will open at three o'clock. Okay. Um, three o'clock, you can come in, um, buy your tickets, or we'll scan your barcode from tickets already purchased. Okay. And 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 as the coach of one of the alumni teams, I gotta ask this for my players: Will there be trainers on site? Can we get taped up and ice and all that good stuff? Will my players be taken care of uh, with like? We do have a trainer, um, and she's actually Kimball's trainer. Wow. Oh, she's man. <laughs> hey, 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 yo, hey, don't do that. Don't do that. She's a Anybody else? Anybody else? <laughs> no, my How <laughs> untamed. Hey, 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 Jay Walk, it's going to be hard for Jay Walk. We got our own tape and our own trainers, man. <laughs> we got to go. No chances at all. If we going one plow on the tape. We just going around one time on the tape. We never like yeah. y'all on the tape. <laughs> so, so listen, D. While I got you, I want to go around all you guys. While we waiting on Coach Doug to chime back in, but you guys have played at the highest level. You guys have, you know, had success at high school. Some of you played college ball and pro ball as well. Talk us a little bit about some of your most memorable moments playing at your respective high school. So, uh, Mike, we'll start with you. What's your most memorable moment playing for Duncanville back in the day? Man, trying to, like, come in and make my own name. Like, you you come in with a whole bunch of gorillas, a whole bunch of dogs, a whole bunch of people that, like, flying the butt around. And being six foot, you know, you just got to work. And realizing the work is what you take – taking life. So just the thing that I learned at Duncanville, the hard work, the focus, the discipline, the consistency of trying to achieve a goal and then achieving it, you know, just put it into my life. Man. You know, it's made me, you know, who I am and what I do now. So, I mean, I just love it, man. It's a, it's a heart. It's a soft place in my heart. And it's somewhere where, you know, it's nobody can ever talk bad about Duncanville because I know what it's meant to me in my life. And I don't know where I'll be without it. Absolutely. Absolutely. Awesome. Hey, Tony, how about hey, you? Hey, uh, man, mine is coming in my freshman year, man. Uh, Coming in and, and popping a panel on Boston my freshman year, and then turn my ACL my first freshman game. And just and just, and just having the courage to stay at Kimball, man. And uh, like I said, man, me, Norman, Star, AC, Courtney Ross, we all still like brothers to this day. So, I mean, we talk every day, man, it's been almost 25 years where we still have the same brotherhood and just, and then just the, all the, the old guys coming in and just showing us love, you know, just like the whole time. You know, just being at Kimball, just the whole time, man. Absolutely. Who did you look up to? Man, I, man, like my my biggest influence at Kimball was Dandridge. You know, uh, coming in, Dandridge was, man, then was all American to me. You had Dandruff, you had uh, you had Quinn Ross, you had uh, you had you had the Salsa Boys, uh, you had you had Coach Jason Walden, even like Snoop, man. Those guys were just good guys, man. Just coming in and killing. Absolutely, absolutely. Snoop was a legend, bro. <laughs> Snoop was a legend. Yeah, he is, man. <laughs> yeah, he is. Absolutely. Big I think he's watching too. He's commenting as well. He's he's proud of y'all representing Kimball. Shout out to shout out to Snoop, man. I I sure hope Snoop, we saving you a seat at the Carter Kimball alumni game, man. I hope you come, man. You know me. We got some unfinished business talking about memories, man. And he on the VIP list too. 
96 and 97, Snoop and them Kimber boys kept us from two state championships. So, you know, that, uh, Snoop is going to always be my guy. But I sure hope we, we, we come, this ain't no regular game for us, uh, Kimber. We, we got some payback on the mind with this one. <laughs> Like, I mean, we ready for it. We ready for it. We ready for it. Who y'all look up to? Uh huh. Um, everybody. Like, I'm the type that I'm the type of player that I would steal everything from everybody. Like, if I like a move, I'm like, I'm stealing that. So from Terry to Rose Composure, uh, from even the way Bar- Brian Bodica was with the media. I mean, just everybody. I stole something from everybody. I'm like a master thief of basketball. I'm gonna even steal something from somebody at one of these schools, like a move. You know how they work. So, I mean, just everybody done real. I can go down the list. Jay Wall, Cardell, most memorable moments as a Carter Cowboy basketball player and some of the guys you might have looked up to. Yeah, you know, we still, we still dreading that whole Kimball Carter game that got canceled in the fourth quarter. But this is, this is a little bit, this is different for us right now. Ain't no hard feeling. It's just, we got unfinished business. That's you know. I think from a from a brother aspect, from Cordell, if we thinking on the same page as, as I know we are, this game just means more. It ain't just alumni type, you know. But these are boys too, so we ain't gonna discredit that. All of them that's on that roster at Campbell, they they family, you know. But we gonna compete for sure. Absolutely. Absolutely. And who do you look up to, Jay Wild? Man, we had a lot of people look up that came through. Uh, rest in peace, Andre Emmett, man. That was the big, the big brother, the big, the big guy, you know, that came through. You got Ty Ellis that came through, Carter, that does so much for the basketball community. So guys like that, um, you know, you got to, you know, do you have, all those guys that helped us on, along the way. Jabari was there with us as well on, on our run to do a little bit of what we did. So, uh, you got to pay those respects to guys like that. So if anybody, we look up to a lot of people that, that just came through the gyms that helped us with anything, whether it was moves, whether it was water, whatever. That's that's what we look up to, for sure. Coach Rob Wright, that's our coach for life. You know, so got to put him in the mix, for sure. And Coach Wright will be in the building with us as well for this event. Looking forward to having Coach, getting him out of Semi-retirement, if you will. <laughs> Cardell Hunter, how about you? Talk to us. Man, uh, like Jay Walk said, we, we our brothers, just like the Kimber boys, our brotherhood, we, we'll walk up to a bar somewhere, somewhere chilling, we'll see the Kimber boys over there like, dang, they still kicking it. So uh, I want to say, yeah, I appreciate y'all getting us on the court together, you know, once again. Um, I looked up to meet my dad, you know, Coach Rob Wright, like y'all said, that's my pops. I woke up with him every day. Uh, you know, of course, he put the basketball in my hands. Uh, Anthony Good, my cousin, that's why I wore number 12. Him and Boo Wynn. Boo Wynn graduated uh, with Kenneth Kelly and all those guys who, you know, they beat us up when we was pups. Earl, JJ, who's playing with us too. Um, my most memorable moment, probably, I think my, my pops, they called timeout. He's playing against Seagullville. You know, it's just so crazy. I'm coaching at Seagullville, not new head coach, you know what I'm saying? Uh, we're playing against Seagullville in the Coca Cola. And he cussed me out. You know, he called me a B and everything. I'm like, all right. Next play, you know, I, I, get the ball, I get the ball on the fast break. I ain't going to name no names, but somebody from Seagullville jumped, and I caught my first body in game. Bam! Dunked him. He caught a cramp right after. So, you know, that, that's my most memorable moment, getting the in-game dunk, catching the body at the Coca-Cola with a packed house. You know, and then making it down the road to state with my brothers, you know. We did some dumb stuff, you know, came up short, but... As I stated, man, we, we we still kicking it. And I, like I tell my boys, I coach at school. These going to be our friends forever. So hopefully, you know, we see some youngsters in the crowd that look up to us and then they make sure their friendships last a lifetime as well. Absolutely. Absolutely. Hey, guys, a question. I just kind of want to know everybody's opinion on this. Hey, congrats to your new head coach, job, first of all, man. That's big. But, like, who did y'all battle? Like, who was your, your person in practice that you battled? Every day. Me? Was, like, who'd you go against your teammate? Like everybody. Uh, like who's your teammate that got you better that you like? You know I, you can go work Steph, on your stuff again. Steph Wiley, who's gonna be playing with us? He he's a fouling offense, he's fouling offense, <laughs> fouling defense. Oh my. 
Steph, man. Who's everybody? Somebody else. What's his name? Steph I got my What's his name? Stephon Wiley. Stephon Wiley. What's everybody else? Who are all of them? And mine was uh, mine was Norman Alexander and Alexander Star. Man, they. I mean, just started in high school, man. Man, he was a hard guard. He was hard on offense and defense in high school, man. Nice. Nice. Yeah, you know what's that name again? What's the name again? Star. Star. All right. Yeah. All right. Oh, actually, teacher Duggerville now. Teacher Duggerville? <laughs> yeah, he teach at uh at Central Elementary now. Okay. Duggerville. So yeah. Star, you might as well come play on our team, baby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> who, who else we got? Who else we that got? Wild. And then we we got Marcus. Marcus just came on. Marcus. Brister. That's my guy. That's who I was going to name. That is my guy who I battle every day. That dude got to be better, man. I don't know. I don't know if I'm supposed to be talking or not. Talk. Well, hey, y'all. I'm on here now. They don't, I, I was just on here listening, but I guess I got muted in. Uh, so we on here, though. But what's up to everybody? I'm looking forward to playing and everything, of course. And, you know, just... I'm a crowd pleaser, man. So I ain't gonna tell you. I don't care how young Lancaster is. Get ready. I better lay some up. I <laughs> ready. That's Marcus right there, baby. Yes, it is. <laughs> yeah, let's go. And, and you know Jay, what? Who did you battle? Jay, Jay, who did you battle in practice? And our whole team was like that. Like you said, still, but you had Cordell. I mean, you got Crabtree. You got, I mean, our whole roster was just, just diverse. So every day you had to come with something, you know. It wasn't just, that was the thing about our team. You know, we had who could do what, but we had so many people that can do a lot. So uh, every day was about this in itself. And Marcus, who did you battle in practice? Uh, I would say Mike. Honestly, um, outside of everybody coming back, but honest to God, true, man. I know a lot of y'all don't know Mike, and, you know, I respect Mike, and Mike, one of the hardest people I ever played, uh, played with and against. Uh, I know Jay Walt, Cardell, you know, Tom, everybody, you know, so we all done had our battles and the respect. We, I remember going to Carter, playing with Jay Walt, them going in there, you know, we cussing, arguing, everything. So it's a lot of memories, but uh, definitely a lot of respect now that we older, you know, so, but Mike, Definitely, for y'all don't know Mike, I guarantee y'all don't know Mike after this after this uh, alumni game over with. So, I mean, that's somebody that just, you know, I always, now that I got older, I respect the hard work. I know what hard work was. Mike been working hard since high school, man. That's why he got his shirt on, man. You see, if y'all don't notice, he done did his push-ups today. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm oh, like yeah. a medium right now. Y'all lucky, y'all lucky I wore sleeves. <laughs> I was this close from not wearing sleeves and putting some baby oil on. <laughs> hey, hey, listen, Monique, Monique, Chrissy, I want to ask this question because a lot of these guys are alumni from these schools, but a lot of them are tied into the current uh, market of today's high school basketball. So I want to get your each one of you guys to give me your opinion on the state of the union in high school basketball right here today in the Metroplex and what can, what's good about it and what we can do to make it better. Everybody, you guys got enough intel, y'all around today's game enough to be able to say some things that we need to improve on, some things we're doing well. And, you know, a couple of these guys, I know Jay Wall, Cordell, Marcus, even Tom Tom, these guys are coaching. John is coaching. So you guys – can really give a perspective to that. So, uh, John, ask you, I'll start with you, man. Go ahead and talk to me. Yeah, I, I appreciate it, man. Um, and a lot of the stuff I do, um, majority of my stuff I do, I do on the girls' side now, because, um, of course, I got a daughter that plays. But um, also on the boys' side, and I see um, just with sports, uh, period, basketball sports, period, in our area, one of the things that I, I do like in regards to this game um, is is that it's able to bring the different uh, is it, able to, to kind of cross bridges between young and old um, alumni. Um, I, I know it, that's one of the biggest things that we wanted to do when we were doing this, kind of bring it together, kind of bridge that gap, because you have some of the younger generation 
um, you know, the 18, 19, 20s, they might know, they might not know the Jabari Johnson. They might not know, you know what I'm saying? Like for us, we had, you know, Thomas Hill or Baron Brown or, you know, Ronte Davis and stuff like that. You know, uh, for Dungerville, they, those guys might not know Brian Bollicker or whatever like that. You know, some people like that or Roosevelt Brown and stuff like that. So for the younger generation to kind of, you know, to kind of be able to gel with the older generation, I, I think that's one of the biggest, uh, biggest things I think that we all need to work on just because it's always good to know your history. Um, you know, and, and, and with high school, you know, that's pretty much, all of us play pretty much past high school. So it, it's pretty much a situation where you want to have, that, that's the biggest memory that you have really. You know, is that that's the still the relationships that you still have um, outside 20, 30 years later, just like Jay Walk was saying, just like Mike was saying, Marcus was saying, Cardell was saying, you know, you still have those relationships later on. And so it, I, I, I think, I think uh, they understand when they get older, you know, kind of embrace that. But uh, just the, just the molding of the, the young and the old, uh, building that bridge that, for that gap so they understand kind of like what, what was there before them, you know, that, that the, you know, the banners and stuff at, at all of our schools, because all of our schools are successful, you know, that the banners and stuff didn't just start when y'all got there. You know, they, they would start there. That was up there before y'all got there. And there's a reason that they got there. Um, it's because of the blood, sweat and tears that the guys before y'all um, put in. Absolutely. Well said. Well said. Absolutely. Jay Walk, how about you? Talk to me. You AAU director, former player, you've been in, in, in the game for a minute. What's your two cents on the map? No, I think we I think uh, now we just need to to really embrace that. Man, Dallas got players. I mean, it's unbelievable of uh, some of the talents these kids are are producing. And no matter what program they come through. Um, and just watching them grow, man, it's, it's unbelievable. It's been, Texas has been a, a big state for basketball. Dallas just just been growing. It's been growing with, with players, uh, but also just seeing a lot of the young guys that did play the game and, and actually got past high school, got past the college level, come back and coach. That I think that's a big deal for the kids, man. I think that uh, once you put those relationships together and they like, hey, man, then you play at this school and such and such and you did this and now they're on the coaching side of it. Uh, you you get to learn a lot too for myself. I just learned a lot about the kids and, and the way they, how they play now, even though it might be different, what we think is different. Um, just to be on that side of it now and at, at a young age is, I think it's just what, what the youth need. You know, we need more of it. We need more guys that play the game uh, outside the high school level that played at these D1s and on a professional level to come in and, and, and coach these guys up. That way, we j this this is how we're going to keep growing the kids. Uh, that knowledge just needs to be passed down. So uh, for that, to see a lot of that going on, I think that's major for, for the Dallas community, period. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well said. Cardell Hunter, passing it over to you. Yeah, being a WWE lead and, you know, high school coach, now varsity coach, I was a, a former Carter Cowboy assistant coach, you know. That's one thing I do like, you know, Coach Love over at Carter now, he gave me opportunity, you know, to the school that I was at, you know, and coach. And I think so, just all the guys keep giving the guys a chance. One thing we can improve on is like the relationship between A mm. and but you, they need each other. Now you, you gotta have A, you, you gotta have high school ball and they gotta be communication between the two for the kids to be successful. You know? And then uh, as long as that's happening, I, I think Dallas will continue to grow as far as, like Walk said, it's a lot of talent in Dallas. But the guys that play need to keep giving back. The older guys need to give the younger guys a chance to give back. And then, you know, the cycle gonna continue. You know, like when I get opportunity, if I see a young guy, like let's say Dez, you know, he's playing right now, but he's about to turn that curve. Okay, he went to Cardi, graduated. He took us a long way. He's a good kid. I know his family. 
yeah, I'm going to give them a chance. Definitely going to give them a chance. Or anybody that is interested in coaching, if they came under me or, or you know, they played for me, then, yeah, you want to coach now? Come on, I'm going to show you how to coach. And then when I'm gone, you're going to show another young black man how to coach and we're going to keep it going like that. Absolutely. Let me let me uh, plug real quick, guys. Hey, if anybody hurting, your back hurting, you need an adjustment or anything, we're going to have the table set up, a line spine in sports. I know Kimball got day trainer. But I got, like like Walt said, we got our own trainer. We're getting tape. We're getting a line. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. All right. A line. A line spine. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Appreciate that. Uh, Ronnie, let me get your perspective on it. Ronnie, you, you, you've been around for a while. You've been an assistant coach over at Lancaster for a while. You graduated from Lancaster before you know, transferred over to Lincoln, the whole nine. Talk a little bit about your perspective on this basketball thing in the, in the area. Can you hear me? Ooh. <laughs> Y'all can't hear me. No, it's better now. Oh. Try turning your Wi Fi. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? We can hear you. Turn it out. Yeah, turn it out. Yeah, I can hear you now. You can hear me now? Okay. Yeah, you're good now, Ron. Uh for me, uh I, I I'm I'm with Jay Walk, man. I think I think Dallas is at a real good state, man. On all levels. Uh 3A, 4A, 5A, 6A. We got somebody from Dallas down there every year. Since I done been on the head uh assistant coaching side, we done had somebody from Dallas every year. So for me, I think we're in a good spot. We just need to keep it going. And the only thing I think we can just improve on is just getting these boys just to get back to the fundamentals and uh putting the skills and the 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 uh, um the athleticism that they got now with the brains of it. Just kind of like what Mark Jackson said on his uh, interview with Shannon Sharp, just putting the smarts with all those things that we done accomplished now, how athletic we is, how quick and skillful that we is. Let's put some smarts behind it so we understand the game and the fundamentals behind it a little bit more. Other than that, I think we're in a great state. You, you can't argue with, with the results. Like I say, we we got down there in San Antonio every year, and that's remarkable. Uh, we got about 20 guys that that's just on the boys' side that's probably going to sign Division One scholarship just in this 2022 class. You know, and, and I'm sure it's probably at least 10 or 15 girls. Just, you know, I ain't even looking at a list, and I know it's at least 10 or 15 girls. So that just speaks volume to the level of talent in this area. Uh, Mike Pouncey, how about you? All right, so you got to repeat the question because I've been listening to all these guys. So basically, I'm, just, I'm loving it. The, the state of the union in high school sports today. I'm not sure how tied in you are to today. Like, have you seen Duncanville's yeah. game current? When the last Duncanville game you've been to? Man, it's been a while. So I, I do a lot of training. I do one on one training. So I'm stuck in the gym 24 seven. Gotcha. So I I kind of don't know what's going on. And this is my player, gotcha. and it's kind of weird. But that's how locked in I am. But seeing the players and seeing how many people signing. You know, I, you know, you you still hear about them. You still check in because that's home. And I think we are in Dallas. When I was coaching in college, recruiting, Dallas was a hot spot that we would always come to. So, I mean, you get some ballers out of Dallas. And that's just enough said. You know, you have enough respect for every high school out of here. Um, and I'm excited to just go back and battle against, you know, some, some, some hoopers. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's one of those things where it's so aggressive that I don't get where I'm at anymore, but it's so aggressive, but it's all love at the end of it. So I think it's good to answer your question. I think I think we're in a, in a good spot, but I do agree with um, the coach, head coach Siegerville, the AAU coaches and high school coaches need to tie together. We need to put pride to the side and understand why we do this because it's all about the players. So Monique, I want to circle back around to you and let's get let's 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 talk about the event. Uh, again, all of these guys are gathered here because of this uh, incredible event that's going to happen this Saturday. It's a, it's a, it's a showdown. 
uh, between four schools that are known to have longtime uh, rivalries and uh, all of the alumni are coming back. And so why don't you talk about some of the logistics of the event, uh, vendors, uh, supporters, any special guests? I mean, just give us an idea of what we're going to get when we show up there when the doors open at three. Okay, um, we have a DJ, um, DJ Butter. Um, we got a, a professional referee staff. Uh, Jared Howell is staffing our event. Um, score table workers is uh, Sean Patterson, um, Paul Bill's daughter. Um, we have uh, security. We have an announcer. The big general will be our announcer. Um, we have a statistician, Stephanie Wilson, a photographer. Uh, Jazz is doing photography. Um, and the videographer is Melvin. Uh, let's see, we'll also have live streaming as well. And that link will come out on the day of the event. Um, what can you, we have vendors, uh, YK, 1K will be there um, selling their alumni gear. We got Teresa Mays with her uh, pickles and pineapples. Mm -hmm. um, we have uh, a young man named Chachi. He's selling clothes, Cardell and uh, a line spine will be there. Eyeball Nation, um, Marcus will be there selling uh, clothes of uh, his gear as well. And then we have a uh, voter registration that'll be going on. Fantastic. Wow, that's Good big deal. time. That is big time. Good deal. And so again, remind everybody, this is, this is going to be taking place at Lancaster High School. Do you have that address real quickly? If, I mean, most people got to know. But we don't want to. It's assume. twenty. It's, it's two hundred East Wintergreen, Lancaster, Texas seven five one three four. Awesome. And so uh, the doors open at three o'clock. There are two games: four o'clock and six o'clock. Uh, what is it? Uh, Carter High School versus Kimball at see, four o'clock. You see what they did, right? They put the main, this is one of those <laughs> events where they put the main event first. first. I see, I know. Then, that's it, that's it. You know, uh, they, I, I know how much. They brought the main event, they brought the main event to bring all the people in. Yeah, we, we, gotta, the we, we always bring the crowd. Yeah, uh, how did they do that with Duncan last? <laughs> I don't know, I'm confused. I'm confused. I'm confused. Kimball. I'm confused. Oh, I, thought they did, Kimball. I thought they did it right. <laughs> I think it's a perfect event. It's perfect. All four teams are, are rivals of each other. That's what's really funny. Why don't y'all if we just have y'all should each play quarters, like yeah. just four teams that can rival each other. <laughs> and so again at six o'clock, Lancaster versus Duncanville. How much does it cost to get in? It's fifteen dollars for adults and five dollars for children under eight. Under eight. Yes. And so do you want to talk about, you, this is a fundraiser, correct? Why don't you give us a little bit more insight about this? This is a fundraiser for Lancaster Boys Basketball. Um, so I noticed that different programs were doing fundraisers. And I thought, you know, after experiencing um, Gentry's event, um, also doing other uh, alumni events that the boy, the gentleman would play in, like the alumni would play in. I thought that this would be an awesome avenue to fundraise. So why not? You know, it's our like search homecoming. So we would make it a homecoming event and bring all alumni together. So whether you went to Carter, Kimball, Lancaster, Duncanville, we still want you to come out and support. Um, it doesn't matter what school you went to. You could go to school in East Chicago. We still want you to come out and support, watch some good games, um, take advantage of the vendors that we have there. Also, uh, our DJ and announcer. Yeah. Well, let me just tell y'all on the live feed right now, someone has predicted the Kimball Carter score. Uh, Kimball, 85 with Carter at 55. So... Oh, who said that? I want to know who that was. Oh, they said somebody ain't been working out. Yeah. I want to know who that was. 
Yeah, that's that's going to be real interesting. If um, that happened, I don't know what I'd do. I'd run around <laughs> from, I don't know. We're, <laughs> come on now. Well, no, we can't disrespect them guys like that, man. Come on now. I ain't going to. I gotta remember okay. it's, it's happy hour right now. Somebody, somebody joining happy hour. So just let them make it. <laughs> just five o'clock somewhere. Tell them five o'clock somewhere. somewhere, man. Just let them make it. They're happy hour. They, 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 ha they excited. So they drop posting. Drop posting. I, I don't even think you're gonna get a Kimball alumni to to coach nine there. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, I can't co I can't co sign there. I can't co sign Right. Right. And we. We just really want this to be a community event. So mm -hmm. bringing back, you know, the suburb and the, the inner city, um, just everybody coming out and, and enjoying good basketball. Uh, whether right you're a student at any of the schools or, you know, in the Metroplex or you're an alumni. Good deal. This ought to be a really, again, an interesting and exciting and uh, fun at the end of it all, fun and a productive, progressive uh, event. We are excited for you, Monique. Everybody that's participating in it um, on the court and off, uh, we know that um, this will be a success. It's Absolutely. going to be, uh, again, something to see. So get your stretching in, get your icy hot loaded up, y'all, you know, pack your knapsacks and um, Whatever it is, your gym bags. Are you playing? Your liniment. No, I'm coaching. Man. I, I, I'm like God. Yeah, Javon. I can't afford a knee or an Achilles or anything like that. Mm -hmm. but I can't have that. Listen, so I'm, I'm, good. Also, I'm good. I also want to shout out all of the alumni that was from the 19th century. I mean, sorry, from the 19th century. <laughs> As the kids. As the kids would say. All of us that are 19th, uh, 1900s uh, uh, classes. That's we're awesome. We're the best. So, anywho, Monique, all of the crew here, thank you all very, very much for joining us tonight. Uh, we will continue to promote this event, and yeah. we'll see y'all on Saturday at Lancaster High School. Appreciate it. Appreciate you, each and every one of you guys for joining us, making the time out. Thank you to everybody that tuned in. Um, Thank you. Monique, job well done. Once again, we're looking forward to an accuracy score. Yeah. Uh, doing great things in the community. Keep it up. Uh, you know, we're going to be supporting you. Yeah. All right. Thank you. And if if y'all can out there, tell somebody. We don't want to miss anybody. We don't so. want to miss you. I want to miss you, yes. And we'll put that ticket link in the, in the comments section as well for... I know Carter alumni, Kimball alumni, you know, some of the Lancaster and Dunkerville as well are looking to see how they can get access to tickets. So we make sure we get that link out there. You guys go hit that link and we're looking forward to seeing y'all in the building Saturday. And y'all know me, Monique, you know me. Let me just do yes, it. Let me do the real quick caveat. Y'all know we still in a pandemic. So it just don't forget that. <laughs> um, that is still wear your mask. Wear your mask. Everybody stay safe. So, uh, all right. Thank you all. Jay Wall, Cardell, Jay Askew, Mike Pouncey, Ronnie, yeah. Marcus, DT. Appreciate y'all. Appreciate y'all, man. Appreciate y'all. Thank y'all. Appreciate, 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 appreciate everybody, man. Y'all take it easy. All right, bye. Right. Bye. Have a good one. So, all y'all log off, and we just going to get back to the Give a few more moments. Uh, that was good stuff. Appreciate, yeah, appreciate talk those about special guests. Yes. Time now to join us. On the Absolutely. So, um, okay. Well, we got we got one left. <laughs> all right. So, uh, again, as you all heard, this Saturday, which is the sixteenth of October, start, the doors open at three o'clock. Three o'clock in the afternoon at Lancaster High School, there's going to be a massive showdown, a double uh, header. We've got at four o'clock the Carter Cowboys versus the Kimball Knights. CC. And then at 6 p.m., following the main event, we have uh, the Lancaster Tigers versus the Duncanville Panthers. Uh, all alumni, again, hopefully nobody, you know, Mike Miles and them, y'all can't show up. It's not. No, you have to be, you have to be at least five time. years removed from high school <laughs> to be eligible. They ought to be somewhere playing something. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, 
You can't have any eligibility left. Right, <laughs> right. Really so, uh, but again, a lot of the stars from the past um, that still can ball out and That's got right. something to show. And again, after it's all said and done, this is a fundraiser to raise money for the boys basketball program at uh, Lancaster High School. So uh, an cr incredible job on Monique Askew's part and Accuracy Score and sponsoring this. Um, they also have a nonprofit uh, that's backing this as well. So uh, you all come out and learn about, you know, again, the 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 uh, creators of this event, the hosts of this event, right. and and then just come see a good show. It's gonna, if nothing else, I mean, again, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be entertaining. So yeah, that's and exciting. Before we before we let you guys go, I want to make sure uh, send thoughts and prayers to the family of longtime Dallas official Don Young, who passed away mm -hmm. uh, this past weekend. He actually collapsed on the court mid game. He's one of our uh, Dedicated referees. He's been refereeing for years and always on the spot. Great guy. Mm -hmm. Always had a smile on his face. And so to get that news about Don was pretty tough to the community. So we just want to make sure we send some love and send comfort. some love to his family uh, yeah. and, and loved ones. So uh, uh, rest in peace to Don. Also, um, I want to say this too. Um, we have something very remarkable going on right now behind the scenes, and it's mm. called the Mindset Masterclass. Let's let's let me be real clear. It's called the Mindset Masterclass. That mindset. We are making some serious adjustments. I'm sorry, I don't want to cut you off, but you know how passionate I feel about uh, these these young men that are in this very unique, uh, specialized space that you've created for them and uh it, it deserves a very clear as a bell announcement it is the mind the mindset master class and we are dealing with mindsets uh, the, the strongest muscle in the body is the brain and so a lot of times that gets the reason for this is that it gets overlooked and everybody's so wrapped up in you know how many dunks and um scores and assists and whatnot. And so while that is important, thank you for creating something for these young men to, to really take with them for the rest of their lives. Uh, that ball will stop bouncing at some point. You know, we all know, you know, things change. And so creating this is huge. It is huge. Okay, tag, tag, tag <laughs> so, you're it. I mean, that was it. That was perfect. So take advantage of it you know if, you, if it, it's for everyone you know i can't stress this enough we spend so much time bouncing the basketball and mm -hmm. you know playing in tournaments and going to trainers but if, if the mind is not right you know nothing else is going to matter that and, plays out and so many times i'm talking to college coaches the it's one of the top priorities of their recruiting when they're looking at prospects is what is his mindset like? Mm -hmm. It's not how many points, it's not how many shots he made, it's not how fast he can run. It's what is his mental like? What's his mindset like? You know, what type of grit does he have? Mm -hmm. uh, all of that factors into getting where you're trying to go, whether it's athletics or anything else in life, period. So uh, I, I can't stress that class enough. You know, call me. It's for everybody. We'll get you enrolled. It's, it's a virtual session. So you log in right from your Zoom from wherever you are. We meet every Wednesday and Sunday and Sunday. And we have been consistent for the last six weeks. This has been going on. And so I just want to personally commend our guys that have been committed. They show up and they are ready and uh, they they're not talking as much as I want them to talk yet, but we're getting them there. I mean, they are really opening up and they're, uh, so we can see the progress already, you know, working in them and they always have something to share from day to day. We see them every three to four days. Uh, so it's, it's really making a difference and we can see it. So it's measurable and that's what matters. And in these times, I mean, we got stuff going on. Last week was just a lot. It was too devastating uh, to, to even get on with you all last week. 
So that's why we're here today. But um, yeah, so these kids are, they, they got a lot to deal with. So this, like you said, is for everybody. And um, y'all know where to go. You know where to find it. You know where to find it. So absolutely. So go to the, go to the website, www.theheadsupfoundation.org. Uh, look for the Mindset Masterclass or inbox me directly. We'll get you set up uh, and, and, and on track, on the path. You know, it, it, it's it's pretty remarkable. You and know, it's, you, it's, it lasts uh, through the school year. So absolutely. it's a whole year. Absolutely. This is ongoing. It's nonstop. Um, if we take a break, it's because it's a holiday or something. But um, other than that, I mean, it's this is we have two double semesters. And then we'll have a summer course as well. So, like I said, we've been doing this for six weeks, and we're just now able to, you know, really shout that out, tell y'all about it. So, absolutely, exciting. absolutely. So, other than that, uh, I think that's it. Mark your calendars. We're we're having the annual Metroplex Media Day. Oh, that'll be October twenty fourth. Uh, so that's two Sundays from now. Uh, we'll have. 15 to 20 high school teams programs represented. Uh, last year was incredible. We had teams from all over involved. And so we're going to be doing that again this year to promote, you know, the student athletes and the programs in the area and, and get them the preseason exposure that they that they look forward to. So um, other than that, that's it. I have a now, now I want you guys to check in with me. I'm not sure when I'm going to do it, maybe tomorrow or later tonight, but uh, there is something that's going on in high school basketball with one of our top prospects that is very alarming to me. And I'm going to talk about that in a very candid and unplugged manner, um, probably tomorrow sometime. So uh, we got a kid that's getting ready to lose out on a great opportunity due to some adults that are not doing right by this kid. So um, again, we're going to speak on that probably tomorrow. So you guys want to make sure you tune into that. Uh, it's going to be a good one. Got a lot to say. Yeah. <laughs> so other than that. So on that note, again, we appreciate everybody for tuning in. Please continue to share and like. Do not forget to go over to uh, YouTube and subscribe to the Sports Influencer. Um, if, you're, uh, if you're already seeing this, that means you're seeing, seeing him somewhere, seeing this whole movement. Um, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok. Facebook. Oh, yeah. TikTok. Go yeah. find us on all of those platforms. He's doing TikToks now, guys. Um, he's not dancing or anything like that. You won't catch that, but somebody may be. I don't know. Um, so, again, just don't forget to subscribe into all of those channels. And uh, we, again, appreciate you all. Continue to remain safe out there. And um, y'all be kind. Have courage and be kind to each other. Love, peace, and hurt, grief. Bye. See y'all next time. <laughs>